They look like little little butt cheeks there. Look at that. Hold on. I'll tie, I'll I'll line it up. There we go. There we go. Butt cheeks. <laughs> Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's MBR. Welcome back to some more Subnautica experimental mode. Um, I'm going back to this. There are some things that I want to explore in the game that haven't been implemented yet, and it's always fun to look into the future and see what's in store. So I decided to go back to experimental mode. I'm thinking about making this a series as well, like alongside and parallel with my just normal playthrough, if you can consider this a playthrough, because there's really not an end to it. Um, but what the heck is that? Are those new fish? Oh, nope, nope. It just didn't have its sack when I was above the water. As you can see, I have my, my aquatic shirt on. This is um, very seaworthy. It's got some hairs on it. Um, not my own, it's my cat's. That doesn't make it better. But anyways, we're gonna be going to a really special place today, guys. We're gonna go to a place called the Emperor Facility. I'm gonna assume that that's the place where the sea emperors are gonna be once they implement them into the game. Um, but we also are gonna try out the exosuit. I've seen many, many videos about these. I don't know if they're in the actual game yet, because um, a lot of the, the game videos that I watch about Subnautica, a lot of the people are in experimental mode, but they don't say that they are, which is kind of strange. But this thing is freaking awesome. Like, by default, it can already go to 900 meters. Well, I don't know how to upgrade it. I don't know how to spawn the upgrades. I'm already confused, so I'm just gonna go to the place I was originally try trying to get to, which is the Emperor facility, the Sea Emperor facility. There's, It's also by what's called the prison as well. So we're gonna try to kind of get both of those in one go. Also, I'm playing in creative mode because who? I don't really care if I live or die. Well, I wanna live, but I don't. <laughs> I don't really care about health and, and oxygen and food meters at all. I'm just trying to explore right now. That's the whole point of this experimental mode thing. I need more thrust. All right, you know what? This this is going a little bit too slow. I'll I'll spawn another one later. But for now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get a sea moth. Also, for my the people that that follow this series quite closely, um, you'll notice that, that I have this white background here. And if you're new to the channel or you don't know who I am, then just ignore this. We'll have it white right now, not only because it matches my attire, uh, but also it's really light outside. It's still daytime. So whenever I record daytime, if I have the black one facing me, little light holes pop through and it, and it just doesn't look that great. So I'm switching it around just for that reason, fashion. So the entrance to this place is somewhere around the Aurora. I'm not entirely sure which side it's on. It's probably, now I'm thinking about it, it's probably on the back side because that's like the deep part or it's on the front. I'm gonna look at both anyways. Or is it just straight down there in the front? Is this the front? I think this might be the front. Oh God, Reapers. Forgot about those guys. Ooh, what's hap- Whoa, what's happening? Am I stuck? That was weird. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try out the front. Hey Reaper Leviathan, I'm invincible right now, but you're still kind of creepy. Did you just go through the wall? He just went through the wall, guys. He's magical. Oh, there's two of them. Holy moly. Okay, running away, going down into the deep. This is just terrifying right now. Even though I'm invincible, it's not its not that much less scary. When you have phobias of this stuff, it just doesn't go away, even if you know there's no real danger. So I'm at the front right now. I believe this is where it's at. Like, it's going down at a decent rate. Uh, what is this? Oh, little lava particles, little lava remnants. I think I'm getting close to it, actually. It's like an inactive lava zone. I think so. Like, look at the little rocks over there. I'm pretty sure this is an inactive lava zone. I just need to keep on exploring to the point where I can just keep on going down and down and down. Because I think that it's at like sub thousand meters or something like that um, down below the surface. So it's pretty damn deep. Like, I, I definitely couldn't get there without uh, invincibility on. Because <laughs> I, even on my normal game mode, like, I have. Oh, holy crap. I have like. Uh, I want to say. Maximum of 900 actually, I think, with my uh, Cyclops and my Seamoth. So there's no way I'd be able to get down this far. Just keeps on going down. When does this stop? What the hell? How much room does the Sea Emperor need? Big boys, keep on going down, keep on going down. I honestly don't know how far down this is gonna go. This is ridiculous though, like, doing this in the normal mode would be like absolutely terrifying because you need you need quite the upgrades to get down this far. And then when you're down this far, there's I'm sure there's gonna be tons of danger you can uh, run into. All right, guys, we're under a thousand meters now. I mean, over a thousand meters now. Math, things are getting a little bit creepy and stuff is glowing inside of my ship. I don't know what's going on now. I like how at the beginning of the episode, I like how I was like, yeah, we're gonna mess around with the exosuit. It's gonna be cool, man. And then I instantly like get rid of it because I'm like, this is slow. I don't know. I don't know how to spawn upgrades. If I knew how to spawn upgrades, I would definitely use it. but. 
it seems to be pretty lackluster in the thrust ability thrust and then also um it's just not as fast as the seamoth and since i don't have uh mortality i ooh, things got green i uh, i'm not too worried about how deep it can go how deep how deep the thrusting can go <laughs> things are starting to change color slightly i think that's a good sign i don't know well bad but good Ooh, lava zone look at this so yeah definitely the uh, the way to go is in front of the aurora there I'm, I'm literally just like following a trail and whenever it goes down i go down <laughs> like i don't know exactly where i am at all like if i had to find my way back i'd be screwed Ooh, ooh, this goes down a lot oh like oh god god Huh. Huh. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it was green for a second. I thought it was like green lava, but it was just the lighting. Um, so now we're in the active lava zone or magma zone. I think lava is when it comes out of the earth. This is, I guess, coming out of the earth. So lava zone. I've mentioned this before though. It shouldn't be hot like this. Unless, oh. Oh. What's that pillar there? Whoa, look at that. Look at that waterfall. Hold on. Item thermometer. Let's see here. It's only 3.7 Celsius, guys. It's not. It's not that warm. It's not that warm. This is cool, though. Holy crap! It's a magma tower. What the heck? Oh, I hit something. Wow! Look at that thing. That's pretty freaking cool. How does that even work? It's definitely. It's not solid, and it's not. Is it moving? Hold on. It's kind of moving, but it's not moving down. Gravity has no effect down this far in the ocean, I guess. Whoa. This is like a, a magma field? What the heck is this thing? All right, so I think that, hold on. Let me see which biome this even is. F1, F1 can show you which biome you're in. Um, it says we're in the safe shallows. This is the shallow water, guys. This is, we're safe here, it's okay. All right, enough of this, enough of this messing around. We gotta go deeper. We gotta use our thrusting power to go deeper. I'm gonna stop that now. That's an old joke already. All right, now we're in, it's, it says we're in a place now called the ALZ chamber. What does ALZ stand for? All lemming zebras, or it could stand for Alzheimer's. I forgot the rest. Ankles, legs, zaboomafu. <laughs> there's not many words that, that I can think of that are with Z right now. Oh, hey, there's another pillar. I didn't realize there was two of them. There's one over there. Oh, there's one over here, okay. Whoa, there's even more. Oh wait, those are those are waterfalls, Never mind. Not as exciting. Oh, well, that looks deep. Let's let's go inside of that. Hey, really stop with those things. Oh, ooh. So we're already at 1,500 feet and we're going farther down. I don't understand how far I can go. It's really blue down here though. Whoa, there's sand all of a sudden. Okay. I like how it went from lava to sand. That doesn't seem right to me. I don't know. Maybe maybe it is. I don't know. They look like little little butt cheeks there. Look at that. Hold on. I'll tie, I'll I'll line it up. There we go. There we go. Butt cheeks. <laughs> I'm being mooned by the world. I kind of feel like I'm on another planet right now. Like something Star Wars related. I'm on Tatooine. I don't think it's lore friendly to to have a sea moth though. <laughs> Whoa. What is this hole? Hold on. What is this? Going down. Going down. Oh, why is it spinning like that? Uh, okay. Holy crap. What is that? What the heck? What is this? It's a hole that leads nowhere. Is this like a prison cell or something for the... Where am I? I mean, we're in the Emperor facility right now. Okay. Well, I guess it's just a hole. Maybe it's like... Um... So there's a place called the Emperor's Prison, I believe. So maybe this is like a prison cell or something to hold an Emperor or to hold something else. I don't know. Cause yeah, there's there's even there's multiple of them. There's another one right there. Interesting, and another one. It's got that's got to be it. I'm really stoked to see what they do story wise with this game. I, I want to know what's going on here. So yeah, this is probably where they're gonna have the sea emperors once they implement them into this game, uh, which is pretty dang cool. Which by the way, um, supposedly they're gonna be like larger than a cyclops by three times or something like that, or even maybe even larger than that. So. What I saw in experimental mode is not the scale of what it's actually going to be. And that's terrifying. <laughs> what is this? It's like a little footprint. What is this? From a from like a T-Rex or something? I don't know. That would be... <laughs> what if they implemented an underwater T-Rex and that was the Emperor? Like, all the models that they had before was just a prank. And it was just a T-Rex underwater. <laughs> that's the best I could do. Very, very realistic, I know. Just one tiny little thin pole here. <laughs> it's like a fireman pole, I think. 
It's so the Sea Emperors can slide down very easily. I just hit my ship so hard. I think I'm gonna turn off, um, you can actually turn off the water volume in the game. And you're able to see a lot more of the area. Yeah, I can see way more now. So just to give you some reference, water volume on, off. So that's just like the fog and everything underneath the water, the murkiness, I guess, um, to make you not be able to see actually what's in front of you and, and creates that really creepy feeling, you know? Um, but I, I just wanted to see how big this place was. And holy moly, it is pretty large. Wow, I can see like way farther now. This is awesome. I'm gonna keep this on. I like this setting. Oh, well, at least for exploration in uh, experimental mode. But like, look, you can see even the ceiling, all the rockeries and stuff. I think that's the ceiling. Maybe it's just unrendered rock. No, it's there, it's there. <laughs> that's awesome, wow. So uh, yeah, this is the Sea Emperor facility. Pretty freaking huge. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be this big, but what was that? Hold on a second. Could have swore I saw something. Oh. What? What is that? What is this? Is this another person? Hey. Hey, buddy. Are you just... You just swimming out here alone? All lonesome? Did I find another survivor? What the hell? I feel like the edges of his character model are all messed up. Wasabi 1. Huh? Interesting. Okay. Well, it's nice to meet you, Wasabi 1. Where are you from? Great talk. <laughs> so I don't know if this is like a reference size for um, the area or if it's gonna be another character um, because that's not even like the same color suit. Like mine's orange. Yeah, mine's orange, his is gray, so I don't know. It's probably just a size reference thing though for the developers to scale things in here um, because this is that's what this game mode is. It's a developer mode, so. All right guys, well that is the uh, Emperor facility at the moment. Um, it, this thing gets updated pretty daily i think um as far as the experimental mode is so i'll be checking back with this every so often seeing what new stuff they've added to it because uh that's just really cool to be able to see how the game is going and how it's progressing and what is going to be put into the actual game very very soon so i'm hoping that they'll add the sea emperors really soon because i really want to see what those are to scale um of what they're supposed to be um, maybe they're gonna be experimental mode first. I really hope that they put it in the regular game first or something like that, or they, they just go straight from uh, having the Sea Emperors and the the Dragon Leviathans, or what was the other one called? Sea Dragons? Um, in the experimental mode and then just scaling them up and putting them straight into the actual game and um, just kind of freaking people out. That'd be really cool. But uh, anyways, guys, if you enjoy Subnautica, leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much for playing with me today and remember to keep having fun. Bye bye. Go forth flying sea dragons. Sea leviathans, I mean, keep on saying dragon.